happy Sunday, everyone. Um, I was going to go live to show you some paper deals um, that are going on uh, with Stamping Up and show you some of the different papers you can choose from. And while I was waiting for 1030 to arrive, I started playing with my advent calendar kit and I completed the whole thing while I was <laughs> waiting. And um, it is so cute and so easy. So I have seen, you, t you know, people put little gifts in there and then some will actually use the other side and do maybe a Halloween countdown or if it's their birthday month they have birthday decorations on these so you can actually flip it and make it not only an advent calendar but a different type of calendar um, but I had a lot of fun putting this together really easy um, for this kit it comes out of our holiday can catalog which you can now order from and you need, yeah, I would recommend that you get dimensionals to pop up all your numbers to add to it. I have extra supplies, so if I want to do wreaths or flowers or anything on, on my cards, I can add those. So those are left over. These are the three inks, and if you stamp you need these three inks anyway. They are classic inks that you need. You need early espresso, you need cherry cobbler, you need mossy meadow, and they're nice classic Christmas colors. They're probably the best um, Christmas colors, I think. Um, and they're all in the neutrals pack, so if you just wanna get a neutrals pack, you can just get the neutrals pack and all three of these will be in there. Um, or you can order them individually. And so it comes in a kit and it'll have these, the backgrounds all cut out for you. And then it has an add on stamp set, which if you're a little bit frugal with your stamping money, you don't have to buy. But I loved the distress that they have here. And then a little bird and then these are great borders anyway, but then you put them together and they almost make like a sweater pattern. Um, and then a snowflake, who could go wrong with a snowflake and stars and dots. And so this stamp set alone is worth its um, own purchase, even though it was designed for the countdown. The only extra thing I added were these little rhinestones. And if you purchase this kit through me, with this hostess code, then I will throw in a pack of the rhinestones for you to help decorate. Okay, so I just thought I'd throw that in there today. So there's that. And it took me, I can't believe how quick it came together. It took me no time at all. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. I had an excellent weekend. Um, I got to spend a lot of time with my sweet little nephew, Xavier, and we did a lot of stuff. We played tag and played base basketball, and um, and then we went to see The Lion King. <laughs> and then, of course, went to the toy store. <laughs> All right. And so... The real reason I wanted to come on today is to talk to you about the designer series paper deal. Now, our designer series paper starts on page 165 of your catalog. If you don't have a catalog, you need a catalog, let me know. It's now a three for one deal and it's select paper. It's only our designer series paper, but I'm going to go through the packs and show you some examples of cards made with these packs of paper. And not only that, I'm offering a special 
through myself, which is not through every demonstrator and stamping up, that if you order the three for one special with this hostess code, I will throw in some free embellishments and I'll show you what your choices are as we go through the packs of paper. The other thing if you're and the other thing is just to remember holidays are coming. I do offer gift cards that can be redeemed only through me. Um, so if you want a gift card um, uh, for someone or you would like to even make a wish list and give it to me and have someone contact me to help purchase your crafting needs, um, I can do that for you too. All right, so let's start. So the first designer series paper and uh, is the, I don't wanna move this off, okay. Is the textures, is the woven threads, sorry, the woven threads paper. And this paper has the colors, of the new ink colors in it. So um, it has the Pretty Peacock, the Purple Posy, the Rococo Rose, Terracotta Tile, Sahara. It does have some Sahara Sand in it, and then Seaside Spray and Whisper White. You will notice that my paper is mostly cut up because I use it. But this is a nice, you get um, different textures and when you put add texture to your cards it gives them depth and makes them look more professional um but if you just if you just wanted something that looked like linen that that paper is pretty cool i don't know if you can see that well and so um one of the cards i designed was this one because i wanted to show off a lot of that paper it also has the rococo ribbon with it um, so this is one of the papers that you can, one of the paper packs you can get, um, three for one, you know, they're double sided. Okay. Um, and if you get the three for one deals, one of the embellishments you can choose from for free would be a cord, the coordinating embellishments that match. Um, these are, uh, the faceted dots. And again, they have them in terracotta tile, seaside spray, rococo rose, purple posy, and pretty, is it pretty peacock? Pretty peacock. <laughs> Try to remember all those peas. This is a swap I got, and I hope I have the person's name on the back. Um, and it just shows you how you can chain, take this paper you wouldn't even think and put it here and here, and you make a totally different card out of it. Um, and so um, you can use designer's paper in different ways. Um, so that was not my design, and I will look to try and give someone credit for that. Okay, so that's one. And I will let you know when you get to my, everyone knows I let you know which ones are my favorites. And although I love this paper, it's not, it's not my absolute favorite. Okay, because there's too many to <laughs> choose from. Um, the next one I've used a lot, and I'm just, and I think I've bought probably at least three packs of this paper, and this is the Magnolia paper, um, and it has just very pretty colors, and, and, and the, again, these are all 12 by 12, but I've used them so much I've cut them down, and this is a, just a nice linen. You can use that for masculine paper. Let's see, flowers, magnolias. Look at that. I love that black with that. And then linen. Just cute colors. Of course, Stefan. And then most recently, we've been, as demonstrators, coloring these flowers with our blends and creating whatever flower color we want and so almost making these like poinsettias for Christmas and so some of those examples are these and here and it, all I did here was take the paper do a little flower and a little saying and a little ribbon and then paper makes the card this one was copied cased <laughs> copied by Brian King so made a baby card out of that linen paper, right? This one I did for a Christmas swap where you colored to make it look like poinsettias. 
again just putting two of the designer paper here and then my friend Aaron made this one it's it's like a swing card okay and using the paper there so a lot of different ways to use the paper and so that one is called Magnolia Lane I hope you're making a list because there's a lot of different papers you can choose from. This one I think is a really good, oh, before I go to there. If you, for the embellishments for that, they have these cork embellishments that have magnolias, can you see that? And leaves and tags, okay. So if you want those as your add-on embellishment, if you order three for one, that could be one of your choices too. Okay. So this is called garden lane paper. And at first, it, it's not the most exciting paper out of the catalog, but it is great, a great neutral. I use it a lot in backgrounds and for florals. So if you like to stamp with florals, um, uh, it has a lot of different greens, and I'll tell you what colors go with it. And so it's Garden Green, Mint Macaroon, Mossy Meadow, Pear Pizzazz, Soft Seafoam, and Whisper White. Okay, it has these pretty... green... And some are geometric, and some look to me like vintage wallpaper and others are botanical so very very versatile as you can see I've caught a lot of it um, I've used this a lot all right and the samples for those are very very different so this one it's just used as a panel to give it some more dimension and this cute little animal set Okay, and this one when I designed it, this is also a different opening card, but um, this is the stamp set that coordinates to it. If you see, so I had an accident last night. I was laying out all my paper and I had a cup of crystal light and I spilled the whole thing all over my paper. So it's a good thing there's a paper sale because I'm going to be buying more. Um, but you will see maybe little marks. And that's why I actually keep my cards into plastic envelopes. Because if you have any accidents, it will keep your cards nice after you put all the time to make um, to make them. And we sell these envelopes. Um, so, okay. And then on this one, I think it makes the perfect background here against the purple posy for this flower okay and again another embellishment you can have are these flower centers they're part of the perennial essence um, suite but they're um, they make the perfect little flower center and they're self-adhesive so you just peel off the back and stick them on and they're really pretty so that's one of the free embellishments you can choose if you get the three to three for one all right the next one is one of the paper packs that I destroyed with my crystal light explosion. So I'm going to have to open up a new pack. Uh, this one is different. And again, not my usual style of paper. But if you craft, it is perfect for crafters. So um, it's nice bright colors. If you look at them, this was probably my favorite sheet with the gray. There's glue guns and ink re-inkers and buttons. And on the other side is a nice like coastal cabana, I think this is, um, wash. So you could use this for anything. You could use this for Christmas cards. Um, and so the colors that go with this set are basic gray, blushing bride, calypso coral, coastal cabana, crushed curry, the blue is Pacific Point, and Whisper White. And so I'll flip through that for you. And so the other side, so it tends to be one kind of a bright side, one kind of a more neutral side you can use for backgrounds. Look at those. Isn't that cute? 
And this one you could use for a birthday. This almost looks like confetti. There's my favorite one in the back in the wash. And then this one has ribbon. Good for seamstress <laughs> buttons. Scissors on the back. Right. A nice neutral. And then clips and sequins. So that's a cute set too. Oh, wait. And then even more kind of artistic or abstract with colors. And then some stitching. So there's that pack. And again, all of these are three for one. And you can mix and match them as much as you want. Okay, and then the cards. This card I made, of course, because I made it with the gray. Because I loved the basic gray with those colors. It's a different gatefold. Okay, I just took one of our embellishments and colored them with our blends. And a lot of the other ones are swaps that I got from other people. I think this one was Su Susie made this one. I mentioned Susie a lot. Susie's my upline, upline. My so my second upline. Um, my upline is Dawn, who is wonderful, and Susie is also wonderful, and they treat me very well. And so a lot of times Susie will send me cards, and this is one of them where we do swaps together. And if you join my team, you can do that. This was a swap from someone um, also. And this border right here is cut from their dies that go with the stamps. And if you can see, there's an embossing folder with buttons. Just different ways. And this one we actually made on stage when we went um, in the spring when we were all excited to see the new stuff that wasn't out yet and use that paper in the background. It's a really cute card. And it has, in the, in the catalog, it has coordinating stamp sets. There's a coordinating suite, so I would look at that. But I'm trying to focus on the paper so you guys know what paper is on sale. All right, so it's hard, but this may be, hmm, I don't know if this is my favorite. It's starting to become my favorite paper. And again, this is one that I <laughs> destroyed with crystal light so we're going to open a new pack because I use this paper a lot and I have classes so I usually don't open your paper like that <laughs> um, I usually order a couple packs of each kind because you never know how much you're going to need so this is the bird ballad yeah bird ballad designer series paper let me fan it out for you. It's gorgeous. And um, this has basic black, basic gray, Bermuda Bay, Calypso Coral, Crumb Cake, Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Smoky Slate, Soft Suede, and Whisper White. And these birds alone, you can just cut these out or, can you, or do a circle framelit or oval framelit around them and put them on a card to make it easy for yourself. On the other side, there's a nice neutral. And then look at how well these are colored. These are, um, uh, you know, colored like they, they're colored with our blends. Um, so they're very pretty birds. And then a nice um, print on the other side. Flowers, these florals are gorgeous. Gorgeous colors. My, some of my favorite colors are stamping up. And then keys, you know, a nice subtle background. Different colored feathers. And this one is just gorgeous with the bird cages and the clips of coral. Love this one too with the floral. And then, oh, look at that. That color is just gorgeous. I can imagine this one, I always tend to go towards sea or ocean themed cards. I love that. Um, and then this one is just so pretty with a pool party and the birds. On the other side, a nice neutral. And so that's Bird Ballad. They do have coordinating. Of course we have coordinating 
embellishments for the word balance suite. We have coordinating everything. That's the best thing about stamping it. And these are trinkets, and they're so cute. So you can tie strings to them. There's a flower. There's a bow. I think there's a key in here. Yep. And there's a key. Okay. So there's a bow, a leaf, a key, and a flower. And you can hear the, I adhere these with glue dots. These I usually tie a little bit of our twine to and adhere. And if you're, now that I'm pointing with my fingers, I just did my color street nails. I am having a party, so if you want to add, if you want to add an order onto that. These are, this is Sahara Jewel, and it's maybe one of my favorites. It's nice, neutral, goes well with fall colors. A little bit of glitter. All right, so um, let me know if you need any nail color. <laughs> so these are a lot of people loved these, um, and a lot of people did swaps with them. Um, this one was done by my niece Cora for a swap that we had. It's cute. She did a different cut on the card, and just using that paper to its maximum to make your card cute. Isn't that one cute? This one was done by Cindy, Cindy Smith. Who, stamping brings a lot of us together. I wouldn't have met Cindy if it wasn't for stamping. And I think this, this one is just adorable. It uses some of the stitching, framelits. Um, you know, look at that blending on that bird. And this one was done by Kim. Again, I wouldn't, Kim Miller. Wouldn't have met Kim Burley if it wasn't for stamping this one again we did um on stage together and it has that ribbon there and this one um was one by Susie. um so different kinds of cards that you can make with a bird ballad all right i'm gonna go to a cutesy one and we haven't even hit my favorite paper yet so i hope you're staying tuned okay so this one is the Dino Roar Designer Series paper. And you can imagine you could use this for a tropical floral birthday. But on the back they have a lot of dinosaur paper and it is the cutest paper and has the brightest colors, you know. Um, so there is Flirty Flamingo, Lovely Lipstick, Mango Melody, Old Olive, Pineapple Punch, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, and Whisper White. And this one you could see. So usually you have a dinosaur on one side and then kind of a background on the other. You could use this for birthday paper. Um, and so there's one with uh, the pinks and then the eggs. <laughs> Eggs cracking. Cute for little boy cards. And again, a design on the back. So you're never stuck with using just dinosaurs. And look how cute these guys are. You know, I'm pretty sure these coordinate with the framelits. Yeah. So see how this framelit cut out this? And this framelit would cut out that. And so there's a stamp set, of course, that coordinates, coordinating framelits, coordinating embellishments. So if you wanted the embellishments that coordinate, and you can't even see them all in the package because I have them, I'll take them out. This is, could be one of the add-ons that you could get. Well, you buy three, get one free. So I guess it's supposed to be like that, but I've already gotten into them, of course. All right, so those are embellishments that go with the paper. See how well they match? It's a perfect color match. That's what you gotta love about stamping up. Okay, so that's the Dino Roar. Now, it's funny how I said, maybe Bird Palette's my favorite. But I think my sister's favorite is the perennial essence and you'll see why so robin's favorite is perennial essence 
let me get that one up here. And the last two are probably my fa favorite. I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> All right, so you can see I've used this one a lot, um, but, and I have more, because it's just so pretty. So let me tell you the, let me show you the paper, and then I'll tell you the colors. So look at this. This is like Impressionism at its best. It's like Monet painted these just for you. I mean, you can do so much with these. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Right? The colors are amazing. Yeah, I can see you can see why this is, you know, would be someone's favorite paper. I think this is Robin's favorite paper. It's hard for me not to say it's my favorite because I love it. I do. And I'm so happy with what Stamping Up has done with her paper. Okay. So again, double sided everything. Look at that. Look at isn't that gorgeous? All right, so we have this paper, and I'll show you some sand. Oh, the colors. Did I say the colors? There's a million colors. <laughs> Balmy Blue, Blackberry Bliss, Blueberry Bushel, Calypso Coral, Crushed Curry, Flirty Flamingo, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Petal Pink, So Saffron, and of course, Whisper White. And then here's some... I think that's one that I cased off of Pinterest. I think this is one my sister made. And I think she might have also, she either made this herself or cased off of Pinterest. And then there's again one of those flower embellishments. Flower centers that make the flowers so cute. These are made with a daisy punch. These also have a punch. Okay, so if you don't, if you're not a big shot or don't like your dies, punch, 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 punch. Okay. <laughs> Again, same flower used a different way. Okay. Look at this. You just take a background piece of paper and it makes the card. So by getting nice paper, using nice paper, it makes the card. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And this set is the one that coordinates with this paper and and the punch. Right. If you have any questions, let me know because I'm happy to help you figure out what you need. All right, a few more papers. Oh, we have, I think, three more. And my favorites, I think, change. When I saw this, this was definitely my favorite. This is paper that I tried to create myself. So um, I tried to use um, different dyes and inks to make paper that looks like this. And Stampin' Up! has already done it for you. So it's... This one is called See a Silhouette because the Silhouette stamp set um, bundles with this. This is a gorgeous purple blue. If you can imagine stamping a silhouette in white on this, it would pop really well. Okay. Very artistic and bright colors. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous for a background? You just cut that up, put a nice saying on it, and you're done for a card. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That paper is amazing. Look at that. A nice red. You could take this red and you can use it for a Christmas card. You could use it, you know, for anything. That would be a beautiful background for a fall card. Put some leaves on there. So this I love. All right. And then, oh, you want to know the colors that are in it. So this one has Blackberry Blush, Crush Curry, Daffodil Lily, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, Mossy Melody, Mossy Melody, Mossy Meadow, 
Mango Melody and Masa, Mossy Meadow, um, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Pacific Point, Poppy Parade, Real Red, Rich Razzleberry, Whisper White. So if you have any inks, they will coordinate pretty much. All right. Oh, you're going to sneak peek of the next one first. Um, and then these two cards. This one was done by my friend Linda. And you can see how if you put a silhouette in front of it with this die cut that we sell. Um, it makes a gorgeous card. So instead of having to make that background yourself, which I often spend a lot of time doing and getting inky hands trying to do, it's already done for you and you just stamp your saying, you stamp your dragonflies, you put your silhouette on it, and, and you can call it good. This is a really cute card. Um, it was by Linda Bridge. Yeah, and it folds a little bit different, see? Cute, right? And then... Put it back in the envelope so you don't destroy your cards. <laughs> and then this one, um, I used our new black embossing powder that has sparkle in it. Um, and you, this is part of the silhouette stamps. I just cut a piece of that paper and put it up here to make it look like sky and had the tree branch cut out like that. Makes it a nice, easy card. All right. So next is those are samples. Is again, I've probably used up two packs of this paper already. Um, this is the nautical paper, and this one is called Come Sail Away. All right, so we only have a few more papers, and <laughs> you can see that I used a lot of it. Um, so I have pieces left, but you know, it's great for masculine cards, great for, um, you know, sympathy cards, just lighthouses. Look at that, that linen. I don't know if you can see the detail of the linen thread on this paper. It's gorgeous. Sailboats. Look at more linen. Great. It's gorgeous. Okay. Oh, love this one. There's hardly anything left of that. All right. And then for this one, I did my first attempt at designing my own scrap pages. Um, so I'll put one here first. And I did use some memories and more cards with this. I used actually the trim right here is actually from the woven, um, th is from, oh, it's called a woven thread, I think. It's in the very beginning. One of the first bundles actually goes with this paper. Um, so the woven threads suite here. If you wanted the stamp set, the framelits, the paper, the sequins, the ribbon, all of that, you can just order it all together in one number, which is nice. And of course you get the 10% bundling fee for off, 10% off, not fee, 10% off uh, for bundling the stamp set. Um, and the frame dies and embossing folders together. So with, and then this is the second page that I did. Um, again, some of the memories and more cards. This is a die from the stamp set. These little embellishments could be some of your add-ons. So if you buy three papers, you can get these embellishments free from me. That would be one of your choices that come with anchors and a little wheel, steering wheel. Isn't that cute? Okay, here's some cards. This is a card we made in class that I designed with a little anchor there. Some of the Baker's Twine that coordinates with it. That's the stamp set. Of course, the stamp set has that gorgeous lighthouse in it. 
Oh, who made this one? This one was a swap from a friend. And same stamp set. I don't want to give credit, but this might be a Susie one, but I'm not sure. So I'll have to look that one up, sorry. Um, but I did not make that one. That one was a swap. This one was kind of cased out of the catalog. Robin and I made this one together. It's cute. You didn't even see that paper because I probably ran out of it. Yeah, I used it down there. <laughs> so really cute paper for the nautical. All right. The last one is going to potentially my favorite. I really like pressed flowers. Um, is this one. Uh, and I like vintage vintage cards too. Um, so gosh, this paper is great. So just look at that blue. That blue on that linen. And on the back is kind of a newsprint Okay. And this is just a nice plain linen on the back. Okay. Perfect to make a simple card. Cut this out, stick this on your card, stamp a saying in the center, you're done. Or you can use these for scrapbook pages. Cut those out and use them in your scrapbook pages. Other side, music notes. This one is a lighter one. Um, and you get more sheets in it, so it's a little bit, a little bit more. I think this one is fourteen fifty, but you get so many sheets in it, it's unbelievable. Okay, that gorgeous colors. Love this. Love, love, love. Love the writing. I believe it is. Oh no. Through. Nope, it's in English. A lot of times it's in French, it's in English. Look at that. And it's like all those pressed flowers that you want. If you look at those. So, and as you can see, there's, this is all still one pack. So a lot of that paper in one pack. And this has colors that have um, crumb cake, daffodil delight, merry merlot, mossy meadow, night of navy, Hair pizzazz, rococo rose, soft suede, and berry vanilla. Uh, this was a swap. And as you can see, she used the outside press petals and then the writing on the inside, and these are stitched rectangles. Dies are stitched dies around here. A lot of work went into this card, but it's beautiful. And this one we actually did in a class. This is washi tape right here. Pet the petal washi tape with a gem in the center. Now, if you wanted to do those as your embellishments, you could order those. I would give you those for free if you did the three for one. And let's see, what else would I... So if you wanted... The sequins, I would add those for free if you wanted those as your free embellishment item. These coordinate with the new in colors, the woven textures. Um, that might be it, except for a few reminders that if you want paper pumpkin, Order by 910 if you want the Halloween one. It's going to have 20 food safe packages. So we know it's probably going to be some type of really cute treat container. Um, if you have 40 people to make for, order two. And then you have enough to make for 40 people. Um, and so that's a, you know, that's a pretty good deal. And... Um, Class this Saturday has a few spots open if you're interested. Uh, please let me know RSVP ASAP because I've already cut so spots are limited. And if you show up an hour early before class at noon, I will do a holiday catalog walkthrough where I'll show you different things and you can see everything and put your hands on it and 
and look at the Christmas paper, even though I'm going through all this paper because this is papers on sale. Um, you can also think about the Christmas paper too. So if you order, let me know, send me an email that you ordered with this hostess code. Um, I will get notified anyway. Um, but tell me what embellishment you would like, um, free from me, um, as a thank you for ordering for me. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know. Have a good day.